Hello guys, welcome back to Swiss coin roll hunting. This video is mostly about one day that I've just decided to buy a bunch of rolls in two sessions and just unwrap them at different places, one in a special location which we will certainly enjoy because it has an awesome view, can guarantee you that. And the second one is in the train again, which can you see? You can see in this little clip I've made. Well, the results are a little bit surprising and you'll see like why, because I'll explain in the video, obviously. Yeah, so I hope you'll enjoy it and well, let's start the video. Yeah, the bank is pretty beautiful, I can say. Guess what I'm gonna get from there. This is what I get to see every day when I get to eat my sandwich that I buy in the old city part. And it's really close to the uni, so I can sit and relax at this fountain in the sun while I'm eating my sandwich. It's time to go up the stairs to a place I know which does have a nice view and I bet you will enjoy it. So I'm taking up those stairs even if it takes a while to show you really the beauty of the city where I'm studying. This is the place. It is one of the old Rolex buildings here in Bielbien and I'm gonna show you something you might enjoy because if you thought the view from the train terminal was nice, well, then check this out. Now that's what I call a view. It gets even better once on, on the balcony of the cafeteria, which I'm heading to. So here, see you later. Now imagine having your, uh, taking your meal here on this terrace every day and enjoying this view. Even if the weather's turning now and it's slightly raining, it is still amazing. But right back there, if you can see past the tower, you can see slightly the Alps. The uh, so famous mountain range that passes through Central Europe and also through Switzerland and occupies about 60% of its land. And this massive city is brought beneath me, this is beer. Yeah, it mean it has somewhere around more than 100,000 citizens living in it, which is about, about 10 times the size of my town. So yeah, you have to fit all these people in somewhere. But the view is nice nonetheless. And yeah, they're renovating the building with the roof right beneath me, so it's a little bit loud, but I don't care. Well, and this is where I choose to unwrap my rolls today. Before I begin with the rolls, I first want to thank my neighbor, because she gave me some coins because I helped in the garden. She's an elderly woman and that's why she always relies on others in her age. It's understandable, so we help each other. She bakes some nice cakes and now she gave me even some coins. Thanks. This one here, it's not one, uh, a simple five franc coin, it's a silver one. 1933. I love those big coins. They have a, some weight to them and some sh Sound. I love it. Ah, this is not even the best yet. There is more to come. This box here has some other coins that are not really coins but medals in some sort. This one here. This one comes from a village close to Solothurn, which is famous for those words. Storche auf Deutsch. Ich weiß es nicht. I don't know the name for those words on English because I've forgotten it. The village is called Alstroy. You might find it on Google. Then there's something else. This commemorates the 500 years of Switzerland, which was exactly 
39, no, 38 years ago. It was a, a, it seemed to be a big, big occasion, so they made plenty of medals for that. Sadly, those things are, you know, coins, metal, and so the one here, all cleaned. Sad, but it's so, uh, and they're still nice. Well, always remember, don't clean your coins unless it's with a little bit of soap, but nothing else. And the big finisher, which one I like the most, this one here is a silver commemorative coin. This one celebrates the creation of the Swiss La Croix Rouge, the Red Cross, founded by Henri Dunant. I don't know when exactly, but this one here is dedicated to him and his creation, which saved thousands of lives. Well, it's now time to go to the roads. Right now I've taken the best seat in all of the terrace because if no one's here at the moment. It's in the afternoon and nobody's eating anymore. So I have to play the whole place for myself, which is nice because I won't distract anyone with my speaking. Well, here are the roads this time. And funnily enough, they come from this city exactly. They are um, apparently rolled by the police itself. They have some sort of department where they can roll the rolls to the cash in. I don't know exactly more about that, but well, those rolls sadly have disappointed me many times before. At least this time I hope there will be something good inside. Only way to find out is of course by unboxing them. That's what I'm gonna do now. All right, so the second roll proves to be uh, one loaded with 50s, I bet at least, judging by the look. Last time I know I've just messed up entirely with my guessing game, but this time I'm sure it's the 550. Yes, first is 58, second is 55, and I didn't see any more though, and that's all. Okay. Let's hope there are more coins in the other rolls. Alright, so the fourth roll does show some potential again. Maybe it's again another 50s or there are 60s in here. No, it's actually the 70s. But what really, really spotted my eye, um, caught, caught my eye, I would say. This one might be some early 50s. No, it's the 62s again. They always trick me. And that's why I hate about them. This one looks really nice from the front. Yeah, because it's near. Oh, this one has a patina though. And this is 79. It's in condition, but I'm not keeping those. Well, at this point. The fifth row, on the other hand, proves to have some cash in them, which might be old. At least I've seen several targets that have some potential. Sadly, it's only a 56 here. Ah, but this one is finally something from the 50s, which turns out to be a 58. Setting this one aside, going through the rest of the coins, which might have some age to them. This one may be an 80s, no, I mean a 60s or 50s. Oh my, okay, this one is the best surprise so far. It's a 44. I'm not recording it because it didn't look on the camera. Okay, here it is. Well, nice, nice, nice. Setting that one aside. Maybe shift this here. I don't see anything else. I see some potential in the seventh. Here, look at this. Maybe 53. You know what? Screw that. This is not fair. Seriously. You mean it's always a 62. Ah, oh, yeah. What's this though? Oh, yeah. Nada. The 8th roll. And now I'm just begging that's not another 62 because I hate those with a passion. Oh, it could be, it could be something good. 
Mm, God damn you. <sighs> I mean, there's something here, I bet. Ah, uh, at least. C48, but now if I'm looking. Oh, I'm not recording. Like it, Thomas. Here. Here's the 64. Be gone. God damn it. This is upsetting. I'm in the ninth bro and at this point I'm just asking are you a 62 or not because I'm tired of this. Oh finally. God damn it. And they took me only 40 tries or something with the 62s because there are more, plenty more than shown on the video I can assure you that. It's almost a meme now. What's this? Bam, this one is stained as hell. 62. Any more? Nope. 68. This right here is why I don't keep those 60s. Because there are simply too many. Sadly, this doesn't really work with the Swiss rolls with the mid rim. You can't really tell it sadly. But I have hopes. You know, it's always the tarnished 40s, you know, the tarnished 70s, 80s, or 60s that look like this in the rim. You think they're old, but no, you know, or not. And something that might look promising from the rim turns out to be a complete bust. See? Not on. So the only coins that may be the savior of this video are these two. Forty-three and forty-four. At least that's more than last video, but it's not spectacular compared to what I've usually found in those rolls. I mean, the condition isn't that bad. I shouldn't really complain. They're really nice. And what I've also picked up was the 2006 because they're rare. At least if you look at the vintage numbers, there's significantly less of those because the copper price was so high that it cost more than they actually worth to produce at that time. And there's another shiny coin, which is just a year after. And I think I'm gonna keep it because I think it's nice. Yeah, that's all. And I mean, those are just the 60s I picked out and there's more in those rolls. So guess why I'm not keeping those. And that's all the 50s. But I'm not keeping those either because I have so many of those. They're not really that worth keeping. Well, I think that's it. Finish this off. Here's the view again.
Hi again, this is the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you want to. And well, see you next time. Bye.